is the Winchester House. As you can see, this beautiful house was built with two stories and originally only eight bedrooms. This is where the story kicks off. So Sarah Winchester was married to the heir of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. And when he died, as well as their only child, she moved across the country, moved into this home, and it is said she began remodeling never to stop until her death in 1922. By the time this house was done, there was 10,000 windows, 2,000 doors, 160 rooms, 52 skylights, 47 stairways and fireplaces, 13 bathrooms, six kitchens, seven stories. So I hope you don't have to get up in the middle of the night because you're not going to find the bathroom. Many of these stairwells go to nowhere. Like, look at this. Why would you build it like this? Where's this stairwell going? How about this? Ridiculous. Not something you would see in your normal house. So why make a house this strange? Why make it so topsy-turvy? Well, the legend says this. Sarah Winchester met with a medium after the passing of her husband, and this medium told her that spirits were coming after her due to the countless deaths that could be attributed to the Winchester rifle. And she was then advised to build a house that could trap or lose these spirits. Others believe that the remodeling process was simply a hobby, something that Sarah and her late husband loved to do. And in order to deal with this grief, she would constantly keep herself focused on remodeling this home. Many people to this day report seeing or sometimes being touched by ghosts in this house. Additionally, many people have reported hearing music, footsteps, whispers, windows slamming. In fact, this actually inspired the Stephen King made for TV series Rose Red, one of my personal favorites. I think you should check